What's going on there folks, Earthmaster here on the live stream. Just a quick heads up here, I noticed the USGS added a uh, earthquake from the uh, day yesterday down here around the South Sandwich Islands area. Let's go ahead and bring that up here and show you guys the magnitude. Uh, if you're like me, I just got a notification on my phone from the USGS regarding an 8.0 magnitude quake, 8.1 magnitude quake. It's hiding right underneath there, right underneath that 7.5 that we seen yesterday. So right about, uh, right about as that 7.5 hit, we seen a little bit larger of a signature showing up on uh, quite a few distant seismograph stations um, along with that 7.5. Uh, so basically 7.5 was acting as a shadow or at least a uh, little coverage area uh, for that 8.1 that was hiding kind of in the shadows there. But anyway, so this is kind of a big deal because, well, let's go ahead and check out this map here real quick. Let me show you guys the uh, activity. I kind of thought that 8.1 just hit, but that's not the case. This 8.1 hit a couple minutes following that 7.5 yesterday. You can see the 7.5 right here, okay? And then the 8.1 struck a couple minutes later. So this is pretty significant movement, no doubt. Looking at the location of these earthquakes, 7.5 up north, right there in the blue circle. Looks like the 8.1 was roughly around that same region as well. Just uh, a little bit to the south. So 7.5 up here to the north, about 50, 75 kilometers down south. A couple minutes later, we had the 8.1 magnitude quake. And you notice here, we're definitely getting a, uh, a migration of those quakes overall, uh, continuing down to the south. So this is not a new earthquake, but it after, after review by seismologists and whatnot, um, it has been added to the earthquake list uh, as an 8.1. Uh, right after the 7.5 yesterday. So kind of odd, right? Very odd. Uh, I thought it was odd all this earthquake activity spread out over this area. Um, and I still think it's odd. Uh, 7.5 right there, 8.1 and down here, oh, 100, 150 kilometers or so from that 8.1, we're still seeing that massive buildup of earthquakes. Uh, looking at the last seven days of activity in the South Sandwich Islands area, shows about 77 earthquakes or so um, that has taken place. So um, I don't think we're out of the woods yet uh, for this uh, area. 7.5 up here in north, a little bit later, 8.1. What's coming down here south? Because we know uh, something is brewing up here just due to the large amount of earthquakes that has taken place here. So just a heads up folks on that uh, kind of wondering, I don't know if the earthquake 3D bell or globe brought it up or not um, but it was just issued like I say I just got the notification on my phone about uh, an 8.1 in the South Sandwich Islands but looking at the date you can tell obviously it was from yesterday a couple minutes after the 7.5 a little bit shallower location and a little bit more south than the 7.5 into this subduction zone uh, but still kind of worried folks about this area here no doubt we could see something upwards of an 8.0 or so, uh, a little bit further south. We'll just have to see what the day uh, brings about. Uh, over the last couple hours or so, let's look at the last 24 hours. Uh, this only covers 4. Point, uh, I think 4.5 and above. I'm pretty sure it's 4.5 and above. There's definitely been a lot more, no doubt, than these 51 earthquakes. Um, and of course the 7.5, 8.1 has been uh, beyond that 24-hour threshold that the USGS uses here. So we're just seeing a little bit of aftershock activity. A whole lot, I should say. Uh, so far, it looks like a 6.3 over the last 24 hours is going to be the uh, largest aftershock. I don't, I really don't consider um, a 7. Point f I don't know. What are we looking at here? 50, 75 kilometers? Could this be a, a four shake to the 8.1? It's very possible if you look at it like that. But the location of these are, are it's a little bit uh, far out there, you know, 75 kilometers or so. But uh, more than likely, they will probably state that this was a four shock uh, yesterday. 
Let's see what the USGS has here on uh, information on this 8.1 that struck yesterday. Uh, here's what the USGS put out. Seismic observations suggest this earthquake is part of a complex seismic sequence. Our current interper, uh, interper, interpretation is that this earthquake is the main shock to a M7.5 that occurred um, Yeah, so, so that's what they're stating. This is the main shock. Okay. Let me see if they got any right here. Okay. Do, 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 see if there's anything new. This is basically the same from last night. The only thing they changed was, uh, okay, in the 24 hours following the M8.1 main shock, the USGS located 61 aftershocks of M4.5 or greater. Um... Do, 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 do. The aftershocks span a trench parallel distance of 470 kilometers. <coughs> Holy smokes. Stretching from the 7.5 foreshock southward to the uh, triple junction between the South America South Sandwich and Antarctic plates. A Antarctica plates. Um, pr preliminary locations for a subset of the aftershocks are located east of the trench, indicating the potential presence of outer rise earthquakes which occur as a result of downward flexure, flexure of the subducting slab. So, there it is. 8.1, a couple minutes after the 7.5 yesterday. But I still think, folks, I still think that uh, we definitely need to watch this area. Anyway, I just wanted to jump on real quick and kind of clear up anything. Uh, just in case, you know, a lot of people got that notification on their phone that there was a uh, an 8.1 in the South Sandwich Islands that was from yesterday, which was covered up into uh, in the uh, in the shadow, so to speak, of the 7.5 seismograph waves themselves. So that's still a lot of energy, folks. What is that? How many is that this year? Two eight pointers. All this seismic activity all around the subduction zones. That is absolutely crazy, let me tell you. Unreal. Anyway, we'll be back a little bit later on, folks, with the update. I uh, just wanted to cover real quick the uh, 8.1 that was from yesterday. Not a revisal of the 7.5. This was actually a separate earthquake a little bit further south in the Sandwich Islands area, South Sandwich Islands area. 7.5 and 8.1. We'll see you guys a little bit later.